Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. From all the relics of the Holy Prophet why is his Islam's holy beard so important to keep close and show respect by kissing it? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, the beard of the Holy Prophet wasalam, the Sakali Sharif, it is an extension of his physical self. The other relics, they are not extensions of his physical self, like his Mubarak cane, his turban, his jubba, his sandals, everything that he touches. And the Muslims for 1300 years have been keeping it very uh, holy and very high, giving it very high value. And especially the Ottomans, they're keeping it very, very high value. They make, they built one jami just to put the jubba, the uh, khirkai sharif of the Holy Prophet wasalam, just to give respect. That's why Allah gave them high value and that's why Allah respected them. These are our ancestors. But the beard of the Holy Prophet wasalam, it is not a thing, it is from his physical self. And it is also something that is from his physical self that can survive for thousands of years. Hmm. Alhamdulillah. Since the time of our Shaykh, the Sakali Sharif was found its way into our Derga. And after our Shaykh was veiled, other Sakali Sharif, the holy beard of the Prophet, found its way to our Derga also. But not only the holy Prophet, wasalam, Sakal, it is also we have Hazrat Abdu Qadir Gailani's, Hazrat Yali's, still kept. And physically, the holy Prophet, wasalam, he is. Physicality is also very, very different from anything in creation. <coughs> the Wahhabi is saying he is a just a man. Yes, he's made from physical, but it is like saying uh, a piece of rock and a piece of diamond, they are both the same, they are rocks. One is a diamond that you put on top of a head, the other one you step on your feet. And the Holy Prophet والسلام, he doesn't cast any shadow. There is uh, endless meanings to that, but his body is just made from pure light. The, of course it has to, it has to be. Because as Ahli Sunnat, his body he was able to make the Isra and the Miraj. Hmm? Meeting, going all the way to the Arsh, going all the way to Sidrat al-Muntaha, in his physical body as well, and then traveling. Maybe Allah is saying 40 times 40,000 years into divine presence. And then coming back in the blink of an eye. That body that beard is not normal, is not regular, it is not. Our own physical body, oh, we cannot go down into the ocean certain level without everything <laughs> imploding. We cannot go up to a certain level that the pressure of the air is not going to explode us. But that Prophet والسلام, completely different. And so, this is a sunnah of the Sahabi Kiram to keep this and to keep it high and to keep it holy. Hazrat Khalid ibn Walid, when he, go, he went into war, he used to take one Mu'i Mubarak, the Sakhali Sharif, and put it in his turban and wrap it around his helmet. And he would fight with that. And the uh, the Ottomans continued that sunnat, that tradition, whenever they go to war also. 
they would bring that. And they would bring also the Sanjaki Sharif, the Holy Prophet's uh, flag, uh, to give the spiritual support. And when Hazrat Khalid ibn Walid was fighting, and he was, his turban was knocked down, he just reached out immediately, not caring for his life, not caring for his safety, so that the beard of the Prophet ﷺ is not on the floor. He picked it up and he kissed it, put his back on his head. These days, Muslims, the Quran, which they devalued so much by printing it, so much it becomes so common, just like any other book. Now in the masjids, you see the Quran on the floor, and people reading the Quran, putting it between their legs. Now they enter into the Haram al Sharif, the Masjid al Nabawi, with that kind of adab. How much blessings do you think you're going to get? Hmm. The Ahli Sunnat way, it is bad manners for you to even stretch out your feet according to the direction of the Qibla. You don't go to sleep with your feet against the Qibla. All these things help you to protect your faith and to protect your love of Allah and His Prophet May Allah accept our show of love, inshallah, and keep us in safety. Assalamu alaikum.